Hey everybody, welcome back to another GCSE History exam technique tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at question 3b, that's the comparing interpretations question on paper 3. And we are going to focus on the early years of the Weimar Republic. So on paper three, as you probably know, you are going to get three questions about interpretations. They are questions 3b, 3c and 3d. Today, we are just going to look at question 3b, which is where you will be required to compare interpretations, i.e. you're going to be saying how the two interpretations are different. So on question 3b, here's what to expect. You're going to be given two written interpretations and they'll have a different opinion on something or they might emphasise different factors or features. And your job is to say what the main difference is between them. Now, here's an example of a question 3b. Study interpretations 1 and 2. They give different views about the challenges facing the Weimar Republic in the years 1919 to 1923. Now instantly, I'm going to highlight the focus of the question. In this case, it's the challenges facing the Weimar Republic. I'm then asked what is the main difference between these views. So I need to focus on big differences of opinion in the interpretation, not tiny details. I'm then told to explain my answer using details from both interpretations. So I need to make sure that I refer directly to the interpretations that I've been given. In fact, I'm going to quote from them. So here are the two interpretations which were provided with this question. First of all, here's interpretation one. You may wish to pause the video now and read the interpretation carefully for yourself. OK, now we've read the interpretation, we can start to think about it. Remember, the question asked us about challenges facing the Weimar Republic. Now, in this interpretation, the historian seems to be focusing on the political challenges which faced the Weimar government. In particular, the historian seems to emphasise the threat which extremist political groups posed to the Weimar government. It even says that they were prepared to destroy the Weimar government by force and replace it with their own form of government. OK, now let's look at interpretation two. Again, you may wish to pause the video now so you can read the interpretation for yourself. And now we've read it, let's have a little look at what interpretation two is saying. Now, just like interpretation one, it does mention the political extremist groups. After all, towards the end of the interpretation, it mentions that people were talking openly about removing the government by some kind of revolution or military putsch. But actually, most of this interpretation is not focused on the political problems. It seems to be focusing mainly on the economic problems which faced the Weimar government. And in particular, it seems to be emphasising one economic problem, the hyperinflation, which it says was a major crisis for the Weimar government and caused the Weimar government to fear for its own existence. So let's recap. We've compared the two interpretations and we found a big difference between them. Now we're ready to write it up. When we write our answer, we need to remember that this is only worth four marks. So we're not going to write more than four or five sentences to answer it. Here's how our answer begins. We start with interpretation one and we describe the opinion in that interpretation. Then we have to provide some evidence from the interpretation itself to support it. This means we need to include a short quote. And if we can, we can explain our quote briefly. 
Then it's time to turn to the other interpretation. We're going to compare it now. So it's good to start with the phrase like whereas. And once again, we follow the same format. We need a quote to support what we have said. And then we need to explain it very briefly. And that's it. Job done. Four marks out of four. Now, if you want to try this for yourself, here's another question you could work on. This time, we're being asked to study interpretations one and two, which give different views about the Treaty of Versailles, and we're asked what the main difference is. So if you want to try this question, here's interpretation one, and you can pause the video now to read it. And here's interpretation two. Again, you might want to pause the video here. When you've had a chance to read both interpretations, have a go at writing a model answer for yourself. Look, here are the sentence starters you need. Try and follow this format. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now remember, check out our YouTube channel for lots more helpful tips and tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe.